Hey, Quinn, how many people do you think are going to watch this Exoset video? Ten. <laughs> Ten? Yeah. What are we doing, Matthew? We're finally finishing this engine. Look how nasty this thing is. We're gonna make it nice. Yes. Oh, this isn't that bad on this side. So we're gonna be uh, painting our engine block today. I'm gonna use a drill with a wire wheel. I'm just gonna clean up some of the loose, rough rust spots. Yeah, the power wash didn't really get all that stuff off. It probably just made it rust even more. Yep. That's okay, we don't want none of that weak stuff. And then we're going to be coating this with rust bullet, which I don't know if you guys ever used it. It's nasty as all hell, but it does wonders. It completely seals whatever you coat in there. So can't really rust any further. We're going old school today. We're gonna to be painting with a brush. With a brush, yeah. We're just, I never used it with a brush for an engine block. So be interesting. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so we got all the loose rust off. I'm not going crazy with this because again, rust bullet like really just seals it in there. Cases yeah. everything. Yeah. So just the, the, the loose stuff is off. I'm going to degrease it with some brake cleaner. Get so the, the paint sticks good. Yep. Yeah, so you can see like all the all the rust like washing off. And what are we thinking for the pan? No pan. We're just gonna. Yeah, I think we. I don't think we need shine to shine it up a little bit. Yeah, shine it up a little bit. That pan is hidden a lot by the subframe, so. Yep. And this isn't gonna be a show car. No. Yeah. Okay, Matt's right. turn is up, he's gonna paint. Oh, I'm painting? Sick. You're painting, buddy. Sick. All right, while the paint's drying, we're going to wrap up a couple things on the block. So before we put our water pump in, we're going to take the, uh, what, what do you call this? The timing crank gear? The crank gear, yeah. Crank gear, and then the boss goes on top of it. Uh, cool. This Woodruff P, who knows how rusty it is in here. It's in the it's in the Haynes manual to do it that way, right? Yes. Oh, I thought so. You just gotta pull it out. You know that crank walk? It's great. <laughs> a little bit. You just want some oil to get in there and fill actually, the gap. That, that's actually, like for a Mazda, like that's not that bad. Yeah. End play. There you go. That's the system. You know what the problem was? You just needed more brothers. How many brothers does it take to get a keyway out? You pulling? See, I, I loosened it up. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> is what happened here. So I, this thing was really in there. Ready? <laughs> wow. Let's go. Yeah. Now go up top. You go high. Go low. I don't have anything. To... Oh, fuck. Just don't, don't touch the paint. Sorry, it only I only just spent like the last forty five minutes you may have doing that. Up this There's a spot over on this side too. There's too much happening right now, okay? There you go. Boom. Shakalaka. I'm hit the FD with that. So they, you should buy another one. Because that's that's really a uh, replacement item. How's this seal looking? Looks great. Yeah. I probably this looks new. Yeah, I know, and it looks like the seal's okay too. It probably would have been fine I, if we I'm didn't not, touch it. Now that I think about this, I think I actually replaced all this. Let's see how this is gonna work. All right. Everything's been going great so Ram, far. Rampage of destruction here, so I'm gonna use my old, I think it's a Craftsman seal puller. It's made in the US. I thought that was just a mustache on a stick. I'm gonna use the skinnier, pointier side. We got a thumbnail now. So you gotta be careful not to score the inner of the crank. Um, or any surface, whatever you're pulling for a seal. So I'm gonna start tapping in up at the top here. Oh. So just enough to like hook in there. And I'm gonna give it a little little, tap, little, little tap tap pry here. Tap tap. I'm making tap sure I'm not grabbing any metal. I may or may not know that from experience. Just kind of little taps. Ugh. Bam. Look at that. How's it look? Looks mint. Seal's probably changed by me years ago. So I'm gonna put a little, little layer of uh, grease ball here. I should put a layer of grease ball here too. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this thing doesn't bond on here again. Should put some uh, anti-seize on that. So you could have pulled that off. I don't have a puller that's with teeth that small, so I really don't know what I would have done for that without damaging it. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I got mine off without a problem. I put it right, right back on. Well, next to your car's very low miles. Yeah, that's I think true. You can just use a screwdriver if you hammer it into that. Yeah. You can, but you know you do take off a little bit of the aluminum here, like you did. But it's okay. I forgive you because you're my brother. I got it off. And I and I love you. So he's gonna be cleaning up the oil stains. Yeah, well, thanks for taking my trailer, man. <laughs> so I, I just like using a um, three-eighths drive socket extension, and you don't want to go too much on one side. But I just start wherever the side is sticking out the most, and I go to the opposite. Do a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Just like I did the cam seals yep. in our last video. I was going to say deja vu. Working. I hear somebody off in the distance that has a burble tune. A what? Burble tune. What's a burble tune? Where you tune the car. You, you tune like a, so the timing. Yeah, you, well you tune the timing so like it's like retarded timing. Yeah, like really bad tune. Yeah. But don't you? But don't you like don't have fuel cut on too? So like yeah, fuel? yeah. You don't cut fuel, and yeah, then you retard the you super retard the timing. They do that like <laughs> they do that stock now. That's how ricer they are. Yep. I wonder if that's like bad. I think it probably hurts the longevity of the motor. Probably. I did it once in the Miata, just because. Okay. There's that. There's that seal. All right, let's put the water pump on. H two O pump A. All right, Maxie, so what are you torquing these to? 18 foot-pounds. 18? Uh-huh, that's what you told me. That's right, you go all the way to the max. Oh, there it is. Because this is high-performance engine. Look at that. All right, so here, you know what we have to talk about? What? Tires. Oh, crap. Remember? All right, Matthew wants gigantic tires. They're not gigantic. They're gigantic. They're OEM size on a Jeep Wrangler four-cylinder. That's Gigantor. That's 215, 75, 15. I think we should do 
215.60 ish. 15 tires. The, the gearing gets extended quite a bit with tires that size, but that's why I want to stick to more normal. And I think I'm, I think it's going to be more super moto concept with the rally suspension. I, I think we have multiple sets. I say we have a set for like. Well, 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 hold on. What, let's hear from the peanut gallery over here. It's not a super moto. It's not a super moto. This is going to be a super moto. It's like a 701. It's not. Yes, it is. No. Uh huh. No, it's, it's got long travel suspension. It's a car. So? That's motorcycle. So? It's the same diff. Apple's the largest. No way. I think it's going to look like one of those trucks that's getting landed. All right, you guys let us know. Dude, it looks like, look at it now with the 14s on it. It's, Skipping. Like, it's going four inches higher than where it sits right now. Skipping Lord there. I don't know. I think you should put like those those wheels they put on the diesel trucks that are like super wide and spaced out, and then just run a little rubber band tire. No, that is not happening. I don't know. Well, we are gonna have a street wheel and tire setup yeah, for that's it. That's what I was thinking. There'd be a street wheel and tire setup. It'll look ridiculous on the street, which will be awesome. Yes. You guys, let us know what you think. I I vote in between super moto, but that's because I'm biased. Natsu wants giant. I don't think the, well, dune like buggy gearing. tires. Like the long gearing, right? I don't want long gearing, dude. You, that, what was it? Second gear did seventy-eight miles an hour. That's like seventy-four. That's long. Yeah, but it's also gonna be sixteen hundred pounds and have two hundred fifty horsepower. Yeah, but it, you're making our two hundred fifty horsepower car feel like two hundred horsepower. Or, or maybe we'll make it faster because we don't have to shift as much. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't know. I think it's gonna be too much of a handy crap. Personally. Rudd's got a five speed and a three nine in his. Yes. And he thinks it needs way more gearing. I thought his was geared pretty good. Yeah. What competitions has Rudd won? No offense, Rudd. I love you. He, he, he wins every day. He goes, he's happy at the track. <laughs> and he's going to screw that up. Oh, he wants more gear. Yeah, he wants more gear. Hmm. I don't know. What's, the, what's that come out to? What's the second gear go to? Five of the three nine. 65. Yeah, like that's good. Yeah. yeah, like that's where we should be. But we do, we're doing a 401, right? But also when we drop down to like our race tires, it's gonna be much, the gearing's gonna be much more aggressive. True. Well, we're, we should try to get a 225.50 if anybody still makes those. 225.50? Yeah. Oh, for, for our race stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I had that in my turbo yeah. Miata. I like that yeah. idea. Yep. Um, yeah, but like think about it. like. The gearing's gonna be crazy if you if we go any I don't know what what is it we do five speed guys four three five speed and a four three with like regular Miata sized tires it's gonna be like fifty five in second gear. Oh wait, we're putting a four three in here. There is a four three in there. It came with a four three. Oh, that's right. So wait a minute. So what did that seventy four was with the seventy five profile? With the, with a the four three. I think we gotta go a little bit shorter. We gotta get that down to the sixty mile an hour range. Should I be drinking beer on YouTube? It don't matter. No. I think everybody's past that now. There's a lot of other problems going on in the world. Worrying about Matthew drinking his ill duels. What's the white car top on second gear? Oh, it's short. It's like 40. 50, 50, 50, 57. 57, but it's like gonna be half the horsepower, so it's not really a good comparison. All right, guys, let us know in the comments what do you think is going to be the best gearing combo for our off-road wheel and tire setup on this. Okay. So, Matt, you torqued the water pump, and that's it. We got to get a new crank gear. Or I might have one. And then we can put the head on next time. Perfect. Yes. All right. I'll close it out. Tell them. No, no, oh, you got to tell oh, them. Oh, by CSO, our webinars, you know. This is the most know, we don't ask for pathetic. Patreon. You've done it a million times. I'm unenthusiastic. Who would want to buy that? I wouldn't even want to buy it. All right, we'll, we'll do it right then. <laughs> Guys, check out our webinars on slipanglemedia.com. It helps us support the channel. It gives us an opportunity to give back to you guys, the viewers. We give away tuner parts, buy some seats. There's great odds. You get to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with me and the boys. And uh, yeah, we don't ask for donations or Patreon by doing that. So Matthew needs to feed his kids and we have to fund this turd somehow. So uh, buy some seats and grab some clothing. That's it for this one. Good night. Done.